one of the things that has you know, really delayed two degrees and 308s as a personal defense firearm has been lack of good bullets. You're either going to have bullets that frag and uh, don't penetrate very deeply at all like a varmint style bullet, or bullets that simply penetrate too much. So what we've done in PDX-1 Defenders, we've actually put two bullets inside of one. We've got a, not, a bonded bullet behind a, a non-bonded bullet. We actually have two lead cores inside this product. So let's shoot it and see what it does. Alright, line's hot. We're hot. A little bit more energy that time. Cool. Same exact gel block. Same 10% gel. We go forward. Let's see how this one did. Like I said earlier, penetration is key here. When you're looking at, at center fire rifle ammunition, you've got a ton of energy. And that's what you can see in that wound cavity right there. What do we get to? 14 and a half. No, no risk of over penetration. That non-bonded front core in this bullet completely frags, and you can see that you can see the lead in there peppered throughout. That's that front core. So what we're going to be left with is about 50% weight retention and a huge expanded diameter here as well. So no risk of over penetration and huge energy deposit. So that new load is available: 308 win, 120 grain as well as our 223 loads in PDX-1 Defender, which are 60 grain and 77 grain. But the PDX-1 Defender line doesn't stop at center fire. We've got center fire pistol, center fire rifle. A few years back, we came out in our shot shell loads. We've got 12 gauge loads. We've got 410 shot shell loads for the judge. But new for 2012, we have a one ounce segmenting slug. Once again, you're going to put a lot of energy in the right amount of penetration. So 